Hello everyone, it is Charlotte here. This is the first video you are going to see since I got back from Europe. Welcome to the fourth annual birthday YouTube hop for Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. I am going to be doing a share with you and then we're going to cre be creating one of these. Uh, if you follow me and you are active within the uh, Index Card Friday group, then you have seen something a little bit similar to this, but I am using laces. Um, most of them are from Kim's shop, and there are some die cuts and trims as well. I think this is a fantastic idea for upcycling, and that is the theme of this uh, annual birthday hop up cycling. So we're taking scraps of paper and we're going to upcycle them using scraps of laces and trims that you might have sitting around really not doing much of anything. Please be sure that you check out uh, the other designers, Kim, Amy, Karen, Roseanne, and Misty and see what they are up to with this hop. Uh, I have just gotten back, so I don't know if anybody's having a giveaway or a contest or anything of the like. I am going to be giving all of these away based upon the comments. That's where I'm going to draw from. So if you are watching this, be sure you leave a comment and um, I'll probably give it, oh, a week and see where we are and then start drawing names from that. So let me show you what I've done and then we are going to create one together. You see dangles, everybody's doing dangles. Dangles are fantastic because they use lots of your scraps and they give you a way to upcycle your scraps. And I decided that that just wasn't enough for me, and so I wanted to take the pages on the dangles themselves and create a little bit more or upcycle. Let's just use that word again. So, for instance, I took a Tim Holtz uh, floral and attached it to this. You can take these apart, use them as tucks, pockets, you can use them as tags, you can use them as just little bits of paper that you have written on and you're going to stash somewhere. You can see this is the back of a Stamperia cover. Now you might look at that and you might say, well, what am I going to do with that? Well, you could write over that. You could take this and glue this down on some coffee tea dyed paper and then um, this is going to disappear, obviously. You could put this on the side of a journal page. Use it as a tuck. You would never see this. Use it as a pocket. So don't be afraid to um, maybe tear this apart. This could be a tag. This could be a little mini tuck. Same with this here. You could journal on the back side of this and uh, use this as a tag anywhere. I have added a sticker there. This came from a piece of uh, die cut. You can see that's the negative, and it's it's cool, so why would we put that in the trash when we could use it like this? Here's a piece of book page, and this trim is from Kim's shop, Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. The link will be below. This I used a little bit of um, acetate, and I had an acetate flower used that. This I had a die cut right there. A butterfly and some rickrack and on here I added three pearls and I put them together with a piece of trim. So that is the first one. This one here, this was trim that I had um, not from Kim's shop. This was a piece of trim. This is from Kim's shop right here. Beautiful. You can see it is just a single um, little leftover piece of gorgeous trim. 
that I attached to that. A die cut to there. This is dangle trim from Kim's shop. Perfect, perfect to add on a piece like this. Another sticker and another piece of trim from my stash. A pretty piece of um, textile just holds it all together. So there is one. Then there's this piece here. There's another acetate flower, a piece of trim I found in my stash. This is from Kim's shop here that I had cut off of some uh, lace yardage. A die cut, another um, negative, and a piece of lace from Kim's shop. This too is a piece of lace from Kim's shop with a sticker. And I used a sticker on here, and then this is a piece of lace from Kim's shop where I just cut the one little flower. And look at how pretty. Attached this with some seam binding trim. And then the last one before we go to make our own, we have a piece of die cut here, and I had some yardage here. It's a tassel, thought that would be really cute there. This is from Kim's shop here. It's yardage that I had cut. Some more of this yardage right here. This is, um, this here is this piece that I had taken off of here. That's from Kim's shop, love that. It's another piece of yardage from Kim's shop right here. You can just take a piece of leftover cardstock and look at you've got something magical that's happening. Die cut there, piece of trim here with a die cut, and then a cool piece of um, textile. So I'm in love with these things, guys. I mean, really. We all have scraps. We all have bits of ribbon, bits of lace. So I am going to clear this away. We don't want to work on this. And I have put together some um, papers we have right here. Not certain if we're going to use this. Now I will tell you what I have discovered. Usually what I do is I just get my papers, layer them together, punch a hole, put my um, ribbon through or whatever I'm going to use through, and then I come back and decorate. It might be easier to take each piece, decorate it, and then put it together. So I've not done that, but I thought it probably would be easier than trying to pull pieces and get to the decorations because see it's it's difficult so let's do it that way let's start at the bottom and let's upcycle this so I've got this piece here and I've torn it this is a prima paper and I've pulled some of Kim's laces over here and let's see what we think we might want to do with this gorgeous lace look at that i will make sure that i have kim's links listed below as well as the other designers you don't want to miss hopping over to their um, youtube channels and seeing what they're up to oh i like that so that's a possibility right there or how about this lace? Isn't that pretty? That would be gorgeous. Just right down, right down the edge like that. Ooh, I like that. And here is that lace that I was showcasing. This too would be pretty. And this is that one piece that I had. This is how it would come if it's on the yard this way. So I am wondering, lots of options. 
And you know what? I think I might take this option. I think I might. We can go. I hate to cover the roses up, but this is this is the fun part right here is trying to decide how you want this to go. That would be really pretty too though, wouldn't it? We're not really covering the roses. I think let's do this. I want to do that. And I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter so that when I go to create my hole at the top, I'm not going to mess with the lace, and I think I'm gonna hang the lace down just a little bit, and I'm gonna use Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac. Beacons is the same thing. And let's just, we don't need to be perfect. This is not about perfection. This is about having fun and just creating with all those little bits and pieces that we have. Now you can put as much on this as you want. Because I'm going to be giving these away, I'm not going to be attaching any heavy bulk or charms or beads because then I just get into trouble with the post office. So here we've got a plain piece, maybe, and we don't have to cover the whole thing. Isn't this gorgeous? This came in my stash for May and June. That might be really pretty. Hmm. All right, let's keep looking. Where is this? I was looking at this. Maybe, let's cut this out. Or maybe this one. Let's cut this one out. Let's cut this out right here. Don't be afraid to cut your laces. I learned this from Roxy. And um, you will see her as a design team member below. Her name is Roseanne, and she's Roxy Carr on YouTube. And she, it's amazing to me, she will cut lace into so many different bits and pieces. For example, she wouldn't think twice about taking this and cutting these flowers out. It's amazing to watch her. If you can catch her, she does YouTube lives and they're really fun. So if we had, if this was here, we put this here and we had this showing at the bottom, look at how pretty that would be. So I think let's do that. And then if you wanted to, you could stamp this, you could add tickets to this, you could add um, lace to that if you wanted, you could add um, rub-ons, die cuts, whatever you want. Basically, I came up with the idea that I just, I love the dangles, we're all making dangles, but I just wanted more. I just did, I just, I wanted more than strips of paper. And so I got to thinking, why not? Why not add all sorts of cool things? And one day I just sat down and I decided that's what I'm gonna do. Let me see if I have a ticket here with a butterfly. And don't be afraid to get into your butterflies. Don't be afraid to get into your, um, your flowers, anything that you might have on hand, don't be afraid to use that. It's what you want. So which one of these would we want? I think I do want this one here. And this is a sticker. So hopefully this is going to fit. I think it might just fit. 
So if you're watching this, we got home from Europe last night. So I created this before I left for Europe because I knew there was not going to be any way. I'm sure I have jet lag. <laughs> Although it's easier flying back than it is because um, you're really jet lag going much more so than you are coming home. So I'll put this up there. And we might get into, we'll see what else we can get into. But that just kind of gives you, when you have something sitting on top of this, it's a surprise. It's kind of like a peekaboo. So the next layer, according to how I have this, is this piece of cardstock. So see how you would not see that? So when you're playing around, you're like, oh, oh, look, there's something there. And so that's exciting. Now maybe we've got a little bit of pink on here, so I am looking at, and we do have blue, so that might be, this might be a great place to put. Let's do this. Let's use this. And like I mentioned, we're not going to go all the way to the top, but this is a good place to use this trim. So let's do this. And then if you come back and you've got die cuts or whatever, you can always add to this depending upon your width. Obviously, your width is going to decide what you can add. The wider, the more you can add. So I like that. And I might, let's see, did I pull out any flowers? I didn't. Let's see what I've got. That I've got a cute ticket just sitting here. That is really cute. We might, we seem to have a rose theme going on. Let's see if I have anything tiny and sweet. That's too big, too big. That has too many leaves, so that's not going to work. Don't think that's going to work, but that might work on something else. All right, let me... Let's see what else we can come up with. Buttons are great. I've got some gorgeous buttons from Kim's shop. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous buttons. And ephemera. You want to make sure that you hop over there to her shop and have a look because this is from Kim's shop. Look at that. That probably would be a bit too heavy, but look at how pretty the buttons are, and then the tiles. All sorts of things. Satin, satin rosettes from Kim Shop Charms. Look at this. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So let's. Let's keep our options open. Enamel butterflies. Here's, I think she's a, is she a fairy? There's a fairy. So let's keep our options open and see what we can do with this. I hope everybody's doing well. I really thought it might be nice to put a flower on here, but she is going to be way too big. So let's see what else we can come up with here. Let's see what I have here. I might have something smaller. Maybe. 
be. Ooh, here's a rosebud. No, too many leaves. I'd have to cut them off. But you just want to play and see what you can what you can find. That might work. It's not pink, but let's check that out. And then let's move on. I could easily cut the leaves off. I just really don't want to cut the leaves off, but let's see what we've got here. And I would have to cut this one off. Look at how pretty that is, though. Let's put this down. Let's just go ahead and snip this off. I think that'll fit. And if not, we'll trim it. So we get our glue, and the glue dries dry or uh, clear. So. on there. Pretty pretty. Okay, so there is another layer right there and we might, I'm looking at this thinking, how about a little piece of trim just right there. I think, or, let's see, look at this gorgeous lace from Kim's shop. Is this what I just cut off? I don't think so. All right, let's come back to this one when we've put it together. Then we have this long, narrow piece right here. So right now, if we were to take this, we have got, so we want to see a little bit of everything. So if we put that like that, see how that layers up and it's absolutely gorgeous. Then this piece here, we put that there. Maybe this is where we want I think so. Let's put a piece of that right at the bottom. Okay. Let me grab them. Keep this together. We're going to cut this. Let's see, so this is the right side. Let's just cut this like this. put this on like that. Yes, we are. Beautiful. I tell you, Kim gets new things in her shop constantly. So, she's got one of those shops where you need to really be watching. She carries vintage um, papers if you're into journal work. So she's got paper. She's got all sorts of ephemera, ribbon, lace, charms. I mean, the list just, it's way too much for me to be able to um, Ooh, look at that for me to be able to say, what can we put if we use that? I'm wondering. This will be hidden, so we don't want to do that. But okay, let's see if we can find a... This is from Kim's shop, and look at how cute that is. Let's use that.
Kim has um, pink ones. I've had the pink ones and the white ones. I'm not familiar if there's any other colors of these sweet little gems. They're little plastic flowers with a little bit of bling on the inside. And um, look at how cute that is. Now, anybody could take this off. This just would make a cute tuck um, on a journal or just a piece that just sits there and just looks gorgeous. Another thing I wanted to show you is Kim's shop. This is one of my favorites. I, never, I can't get enough of these little hearts. Love those. So then this will go on here. I hope you are enjoying this idea. Just fun. And you don't have to put a hole in this. You could staple this if you wanted easily. Obviously, the more you put on, the thicker it's going to get and the yummier. I, I think it just keeps getting yummier and yummier so and I like that underneath there's a little surprise like that flower when you look at this you have no idea and then you flip this up and you're like oh my goodness look at there so then I think the next one is probably another piece of coffee tea dyed paper and on here, let's add, let's see, we did play with this. What? Oh, we have this. So beautiful. Look at this. I had used this in one of the other ones. Isn't that just beautiful? I think we're going to put this on there, but I think we're going to have it going this way so that you can see the scallops. So let's cut it right there and maybe have it hang just a little bit longer. And just go here. Just enough to keep this down. And if you like to stitch then, it would be really, really fun to do some slow stitching on top of here and have your, um, have your stitches showing. How fun would that be? You can see I've got bits of glitter on me. That's okay. Don't quite like the stark edges. I think we're going to do that. And then this is going to go here, like that. And then you can see how things just become one big surprise, which is what I'm loving. And on here we have this. Did we want to use this? No. I mean, we could. But... I'm going to say no, and let's go for this trim here. Oh, I can't get enough of this trim. For real. And we'll cut this right here, like that. Put it on the edge. right up like this and then I will show you one of my all-time favorite trims to work with now here obviously if you wanted to you could do some stamping you could put a die cut you could put some rub-ons right here you could leave it like this and do a little bit of journaling So that's going to go there, and right behind it, we're going to see that. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Okay, 
Then we have this piece here, and I know what I want to do on that is to use one of these, my all-time favorites, right here. We are using this right there. That's all I have left. I will be getting more. So let's put this down and then we're coming really up to the next piece is a piece of vellum that I found and decided I would do something with. I'm going to upcycle that vellum that came holding some paper together and it was way too pretty to throw out. So that then goes there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We have this piece. See that gorgeous rose? So this needs... We do have this piece right here. Look at that. Maybe that's what we should do. So if we did that... Yes, I think I will. And then I don't think I'm going to use that piece there. So we will put this on, we'll have a look at it. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And please, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. And please, please go check out the other designers. I will be doing that today as well. So I catch up on my sleep. And do my laundry and do whatever you do when you, when you pick on a vacation. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, so let's check out. Let me get this on. Let's put this together. I've got a crocodile. And we are going to... Get this the way we we want it. Oh, she's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, she is beautiful. Okay. So, let's hold this in place. Hopefully, I go through everything I need to go through. She's not too thick. If she gets too thick, then you're going to have to take it apart. And she is too thick, so we are going to have to take maybe... It's not a problem. Take these pieces, punch our hole... in there. Not a problem. Let's see. Why is that giving me... Okay, I can see what I did with this one. All right. We have our hole. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's what I did. You just come back and just don't be intimidated. Let's get our string here. I'm going to be using this. This is my first piece. And we're going to string it like this. Just take our care. Here we're going to go. I think the little one... Like that. Let's go through. I 
I wanted to double it for texture. Let's go through. Okay, so we've got that and that. And then we need this one. And then this one. Like that. And then we have these pieces. Let's see if we can get these pieces in. We want the big side. Yes, okay. So we get this through. And we have made an upcycled dangle. And grab it and then when you look at it if you decide maybe you want a little bit more let me grab a pen and pull this through like this you can always add more to this let me play with it there we go Okay, so this is going to go like that. And then we're going to take this and we are going to tie it together. You can leave it more loose if you want. And we're going to cut that off and cut this off. And then if you wanted to come back and add um, charms to this, you can. But look at what we've created. Look at how beautiful this is, guys. What do you think? Look at that. It's just like, it's, it's just a surprise. Look at that. <gasps> look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. Thank you, Kim. Look at that. Oh, pretty, pretty. Yep. Good choice. So if you were looking at this and you put it together and you thought, oh, I think I'd want something else on there. I think I'd want maybe a butterfly. Maybe you, let me see if I have a butterfly that we could put there. Just so that you could see what that would look like. Let's see what I've got. I've got a little dude, something not too big. Just bear with me. No more in the oranges, and that's not going to work. So bear with me just a second. I am going through my stash here, seeing if I might have a little something, something. I could be in the wrong stash, too. That, that would be pretty. We've got some greens. We've got some mushrooms. You know, little bits of flowers would be so cute. Well, here's something blue. Is that the same thing? I almost think... I almost think I like that better. But you get the idea of the upcy upcycling. So let's add that. Let's see how this is going to look. He may not be the greatest idea. Or we could, oh, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? I like him there, but I like him here, too. I think I'm going to put him here. Yep, I really do like him here, but I think then we need something up there. It's just calling for something. So, let's put him on there. Just 
just like that. And then let's see if we can find something. Maybe a couple pearls. Maybe that's what we need. We don't necessarily need a butterfly. How about... So now that's what we've got. Oh, do you see how beautiful that is? Let's see if we have something that we can put there. We could put a dot. Could put could put a dot there. This just, it needs a dangle or it needs a bead. I think what I'm gonna do is I think I am gonna put a pearl here. That doesn't really show up. You can see it, but it doesn't really show up. I think I'm gonna put a pearl there. But I want just wanted you to see what we can do with not a whole lot because I am loving this idea. So let's put that there, that pearl there. This has way too much green. Could have had that on there, way, way too much green. So I think that's going to be it because I kind of am at a loss. But I'm wondering maybe what we should do is take just a, you know what, there it is, isn't it? We go across or we just want one? What do you guys think? Go across that way? Yes. All right, let's cut this. We're going to cut this like this. Just like that. And then we are going to put that up there and have a look at just how beautiful this is. Upcycling your little bits of trim, your little bits of lace, your little bits of... Um, charms just whatever in little bits of paper and look at what you two can do look at that look at that guys I mean if you opened up a journal and you found that you either could leave it like this or you have all these great little pieces to play with it's fantastic I love this idea so I want to thank you so much for joining me on this birthday YouTube hop. And um, I do hope that everybody's having a fantastic day. And um, I will see you over at the other designers, guys. So take care and thank you so much for watching. Hugs, everyone. Bye.